On this journey, we knew there would be surprises in store. We expected to meet new people and hear untold stories to learn the truths behind the lore. Along the way, we discovered the hidden gems of Ireland. With much planning and preparation, the time had come. Time for Vanessa and I to head to Ireland to try to find out the stories from the locals, separate the truths from the myths, the beliefs and the whatnots. Please understand that we were working with the equipment that we had at the time, and we are striving for improvements for future episodes. We thank each and every one of you. Now, I understand we have a treat in store for us tonight. Where are you taking us? Lord Hall. Can't you mean? Well. <laughs> <clears throat> mix, mix in there, what, twice now with us? Twice? Yeah, yeah. twice. Twice. Three times. Sorry, three times. Three times, oh. yeah. So we've done three investigations there yeah. um, over the last years. It's a place that you wouldn't want to go too many times. You'd ruin it for yourself. Right. right. The, 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 I'll just let Mick just bring you there and he'll show you. <coughs> yeah. It's only on the last visit, Mick actually found the family tomb. The yeah, family yeah. plot is there. And as I said, that's for Colonel Moore and his family are buried there at, at the area. But what was surprising for us, was a big surprise, is um, when we just went a little bit and went behind, there's actually a mass grave for kids, famine. And it's actually marked out in white poles right behind the tomb. They and found the bodies. One, one, one cross the cross. That there. It's just saying that it's, uh, there is a mass grave there. it's either the unnamed children or un or forgotten children. Now there's a thing about that as well is that the Moors yeah. were getting servants pregnant and all that kind of stuff because it was a self-contained little city basically. Yeah. Yeah. You'll know it when you see it. it yeah, is. you'll know. And it. like the. Um, um, the tunnels, it's, you see the way it's segregated from it, like the tunnels you come in, that was, mm -hmm. you know, servants and stuff would be coming up at the yeah. back area, mm -hmm. in the tunnel area there, and that's the way they're going in. The kitchen area is like, uh, f uh, that was underneath the house, and there's like a barrel, uh, barrel shoot, mm -hmm. a metal barrel shoot you can throw down on it. Uh, over to one side is actually the, um, it's either, it's for the horses or it's, he it was, had horse guards there or something like that because it's a big area that's walled in and stuff like that. Um, the story's there of the white lady. Okay. It's so uh, <clears throat> well, they supposed to have got pregnant, went out in a storm. Now there's two different stories they have. One is she's supposed to have done a Peter Pan off the the roof because she was rejected. Or the one is she's supposed to have gone out in a storm and was found several days later, froze to death. So she's seen through um, in the woods as you go up, we'll go up the, mm -hmm. the main driveway on it. Also about it is, is there's um, children, you'll see children staring back at you through the woods mm. as you're going up, you know. Um, my experience in it was um, um, when I was out, we were walking back and um, I had an experience that we were being um, followed. Mm -hmm. That there was something after us following us and stuff like that. And um, it was ahead of us and um, when I went... Um, when I move forward and stuff like that, just to to investigate and stuff like that, um, there's something that just went through me. Now, it was nice thing about it was it, I didn't feel threatened by it. It wasn't anything you would say menacing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It was just sort of like, yeah, I'm here, but don't fear me type of thing. But it was a very unusual feeling of it. But you will find that feeling. You're, it's just, it's, they say it's the groundskeeper, but you seem to be mm -hmm. someone following you. Right. You know, there's a presence there that you feel that's following you. Um, plus the church is gone now. Whatever happened, the old more church is mm -hmm. actually gone on it. So I don't know what to do there. Yeah, burnt it down. So oh, you know. Okay. So like it says, uh, well, Irish Republican Brotherhoods, I suppose, the fiends and stuff like that. So it's a very interesting place. It's lovely, you know, and it's nice, and there's a lot of history to it, and you get around it. Um, you can't. One time you could get into it, mm -hmm. right? You know, we had all these secret ways of getting into it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But there is, um, there's a pier. Just one pier at the side, 
Uh, you can climb up on and stuff like that. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of activity in that room, that area there. Okay. A lot of people see it, plus you see a lot of activity. There's no floors, but you see the activity up mm -hmm. on the top of floors and stuff like that. So um, it's a beautiful setting, beautiful place on it, but there is a lot of lot of history in it. But then, you know, it's more house. But that's, that's, more that's what we're here for. Yeah. You'll like it, yeah. I don't want to see if this, where we're going to tonight, has any relevance to what happened with me earlier this week. <laughs> we, um, I had, a, when we first got here a week ago, I had a chakra ring, mm -hmm. which I think I was wearing it the day that we all went out. Mm -hmm. And been fine, made it on the planes, nothing happened to it, didn't get hit or nothing like that. I step outside and I go to bring my hand up to my face and I look, the stone for the throat chakra was gone. Yeah. I was like, that's kind of weird. I didn't get it on anything or nothing, so I didn't think nothing of it. And then Susie brought us some oil that she had just gotten in the mail today. So we're gonna, you know, try that out. So Vanessa put some on on her third eye, and did, we both did third eye chakra, uh, the throat chakra. And immediately, almost immediately, Vanessa said it was burning. And it was only the third eye, not the throat. Right. Like it was boring in to my head. And she asked me if I was having the same problem. And I said, no. I said, I just feel what feels like pressure, but I, nothing burning or anything. So Susie stayed there for a little while while we were talking in our room. And then when she left, we went to stretch out. So we're just laying there. And all of a sudden, it just burned. It felt like somebody just took a lighter or something and just mm. held it to me. And I said, Vanessa, and she said, what's wrong? I said, now my throat is starting to burn. And then we just looked at each other at the same time, remembering my ring, that the throat chakra was missing. Yeah. So I don't know if maybe it's just oddly timed that way, which I doubt. My yeah. gut's telling me different. Yeah. But it's making me wonder what may happen tonight because I really feel like it has to do with whatever is about to happen tonight. Yeah, fair enough. Now there is, when we, last investigation we did in it, there's, um, there's multiple, but there's one very dominant. Do you understand? Yes. I mean, it's like they were arguing themselves and then there's one dominant person that actually comes up sort of like, you know, well you shut up. There is a dominant present there, whether it's more Colonel Moore or what, mm -hmm. but there's different, different, um, spirits and we, uh, we were trying to make contact with and stuff like that uh, they don't like me okay for whatever reason I was pretty much told maybe they probably maybe because I'm anger it is um, I don't know but the, you know the, yeah. they really pretty much told me to F off of these you can say that on camera you know? oh yeah. absolutely yeah seriously so it's like we're asking who to talk to uh, we had like Antonio and that there and then pretty much to, you know what did you want to talk to Mike? And he was like, fuck him. So <laughs> yeah. it was pretty much like that. So, which was kind of uh, interesting because I don't know, maybe it's because of, I'm a military background and I said, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. he feels threatened by it and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know. But you will see, as it says, there's, there's a lot of different histories in it, you know, and of course it's diluted over time. Mm -hmm. And what it is, uh, it was burnt out by Republicans. Okay. You know, it was burnt out by Republicans. And, and it says, and then of course, where they've situated their grave compared to the famine grave, it's uh, they're almost on top. Okay. Yeah, so it's sort of like an insult and stuff like that. Yeah. So you'll see that end of it. The church is gone. It's like you know the you know I was talking about all these small mm -hmm. churches and mm -hmm. stuff like that. They're actually gone as well. So okay. it's going to be interesting, you know. And so if you do feel a present following you or stuff like that, mm -hmm. there is there as it says that was my experience. But we all felt it that we were. Just keeping an eye on us, I think, is what mm -hmm. what was going on. And we figure it's the groundkeeper. That's the uh, the white lady, as it says. There's two stories. The one is she, she, uh, it's more is supposed to have uh, concubines, had kids, and mm -hmm. kept them confined. So you will hear laughter again, like um, John's place. You'll hear the, the laughter, but you'll also can see kids. You'll get glimpses of like kids looking out at the woods, stuff like that. And then the white lady. It's, she either took, a, as I said, she either jumped off the building because she was rejected and pregnant, or uh, the other main story is that she went out in a real cold storm and fr could have been, yes, I don't know, but that's, you know, so. Also, there was um, a druid drowned in the lake. Yeah. So and the whole house is built on a supposed witch's coven. 
Yep. Now, can wow. we get to the lake? Oh, the lake's right I'll bring you down. Right, lake's right You have to go down to the, for yep. the, mo the funeral zone. Do you have a jar? A jar. We'll just get my water bottle. I was beginning to see what I was already up against trying to record what was before us. People, it was darker than dark. Some of the darkest I've ever seen. Corner, not the back corner. She jumped from in between the front and the back corner and landed right over there. So hang on a second. Uh -huh. Just stop. Very odd music for me. It's weird. It doesn't fit. It 
it doesn't fit the place. It's played for somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's stuff in my bag. Jeez. You want to do a spirit box session here? We need to go around the back. Around the back? Yes. Okay. Back. Back. Yeah. Go this direction. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. What the fuck's that? Whoa. That explains a lot. Yeah, it, it does. Will, it point blank refuses me to take a picture but of the house. What, what, what I did I say? I take pictures of you all the time. But any time trying to get a house, it's <sighs> not letting me fucking near it. And that's... I just took that there. What is wow. that? You see a blur of something. Uh -huh. And I just said to Vanessa, you want to do a spirit box session. Uh -huh. I just had that feeling. I know. We can, if you want to. Something is telling me to go around to the back, but we can do both. No, what no, do you feel you need to do? Yeah. What in the world? Whoa. That's... Is that... Yeah, it is. I guess who's it coming from? Me. Yep. That's right when you said whoa, too, probably. But, you know, I can understand the light. You know, you've that, you can classify right, as the right. light. That you that cannot. You cannot. you cannot explain that. No. Not a chance. Oh, God, that's going to freak Mike out. He's going to yeah. be like, holy shit. Seriously. You that? Yeah. I've got pictures. Every time I take pictures of you, Grant, mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. Cannot take one picture of this house. I've tried. Um, I was trying, too. I cannot take a picture of this fucking house. It will not let me do it. Jeez. I cannot believe it. When do you want to try here? We can. We can. Serious? My GoPro came on. Jesus. Are you fucking serious right now? Is it taking pictures? I don't know. I can't. It's acting very, very bizarre. It looks like you've taken a pretty big liking to me. Do you have anything to say? Can you tell me your name? What year is it? Is that you messing with Nick's camera? Are you a man? What was that? Was this witch's land? There y'all go. What that was? Did you hear it? Yeah, we're a pretty good ways back. I uh, back down to less than half a battery. Okay. Okay.
Can you hear a man? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Did you hear a man? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. <gasps> the hell? Did you do that? Nope. <sighs> what the fuck? It just slung the, his damn torch out. I was nervous enough watching him up on this makeshift ladder. But I want to replay this clip in its entirety and slow it down towards the end. As you can see, when Mick gets up to the top of the ladder, he lays his cell phone down. The light was not on his cell phone. His elbow is nowhere near it. He noticed that something had been messing with his camera. We all were getting a feeling of being watched, but was not prepared for what was about to happen. As you can see in the clip coming up, all of a sudden you see the light come on his cell phone, and then it will slowly flip completely off. I thought it was his torch. Didn't realize it was his cell phone till later. Not the torch, but oh, fucking phone. Oh, was it your cell phone? Oh, shit. Okay, hold it. Let me find it. That's weird. Wow. You oh. caught that on tape, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. God damn. Here you go, honey. Wow. I was just going to tell you, be careful coming down, too, because you were real fuzzy, but right when I went to open my mouth, the... I don't think it liked me. It came flying down. Uh, Nick, why would they be talking about the wolf? Because I don't think they mean a wolf. They keep talking. I mean, it, to me, it's like a symbol or like somebody whose nickname was the wolf. Oh, I think they were answering you. Okay. Please, thank you. Why would they be talking about that? Does that have anything to do with anything? Didn't tell you, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I'm we're going to look that I, up. You know what I do is I do a search for you on it. Okay. Because they just keep showing me an emblem and it looks like a wolf. Well, the thing about it is, is what's the crest of the moors? I don't know. Crest of what? What's the moor house crest? He's a colonel, so he has to have a crest. Oh, okay, I don't know what it is. Mine's a deer. Mine's three deers. Okay. Two deers and then one Henderson is the deers. Okay. Or, or stags. Three stags. Okay. So he's got to have a, an ambulance on the foggy roof. Okay. Oh, my hands are numb. That, the clicking is my lens cover. I'm grabbing a hold of it right now. No. It looks like a military barracks to me. Yeah. Uh, a place for soldiers. Yeah. And that goes oh, right God, there. Feel it. Okay. Seriously. Sorry, Les. One here. 
massive. That's me. And have a look at that gate. I know this part of the stone. Look at the pillar for it. Yeah. That's one big mother of a gate. That is that a huge is. gate. This was the fencing around yes. the military barracks. I think so. I really, that's my belief. It's always been my belief. If people say, no, it could be a private garden, but not no. like that. No, this is huge. This is monstrous. This has got to be a pregnant. I've been in enough barracks to know them when I see it. And look at those walls. Who is that for a private garden? Exactly. <coughs> you right, Les? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Come on, y'all. I just want to take the pictures, please. Just let me do it. <coughs> oh, gosh, excuse me. Okay. Okay. Mm. What I love about this place again, if you listen. No. I think I got something in that last one. Gonna have to go. I think I got something in that last one. Excuse me. Golly. No. It and it's summertime. Yeah. There, that was my camera. I had to turn it. I thought I turned it off, but apparently it doesn't want to go off. Now it is. Watch your footing. Okay. I'm good, honey. Okay. You don't stone in a garden like this. Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a splashlight. I I agree. It's the it's the gating, the fencing around the barracks. And that's the corner of that. That's how we built barracks. Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You built barracks up against the wall, so you look all around the. Perimeter. This is a makeshift. Huh? Hole. Yeah. What's up with that? Weird. I'm trying to, I can't understand what they mean by this. They're talking about a place of salvation. I don't understand it. Because I don't feel anything. Yeah, I don't feel any. I don't feel anything akin to salvation in any way here. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Full battery again. Yeah, okay. That's now. That's Okay. Okay. Oh, that makes Earthworks. Sense. Okay. We talked about that. Yep. Uh huh. Stone, but that's definitely earthwork. Yeah. See that? That was hidey holes. Wow. That's earthwork. So, whatever. Whoa. Yeah, I did. I don't know why there's something red behind there. I'm going to have to enlarge these. Yeah, I'll work on them. Look at that. What in the world? Uh -huh. And then look at the red thing behind there. There's nothing that would cause that. No. Right there. Stars don't hang that low. No, they don't. And I'm too far away to pick up an insect and have it shine like that. Well, you'd want to be genius to figure and get a star in this, would you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, they're all over the place. Yeah. This is this is full coverage. There's no way I would get stars in here. This is full coverage. Yet I'm I'm getting. These little shiny lights anyway, there's nothing reflective, nothing that the flash of my light could, uh, of my camera could go off of. Again, I'm not claiming that's paranormal by any stretch. I still have to go through the 
pictures, but I can't find rhyme or reason for it. I had some feast with what looks like quail. Oh, yeah, that, was oh that was me. Around about underground. Okay. Have a nice look. There. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Tracks. Carriage tracks. Yeah. That, that is carriage tracks. Oh, wow. it's real narrow. Inside the tunnel. That was my knee popping. Okay. I'm back down a quarter way to a battery. Okay. This is where I keep hearing rubbish again. Yeah, welcome to the service course. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that explains the rubbish. That's what they're talking about is rubbish. Jeez. I don't mean y'all are rubbish. Okay? That's not me saying that. Oh. Watch yourself. Yep. You want to be very careful? I am. What was that? Did you hear that? It went I, I heard it. I'm pretty sure I caught it on the boom mic. Okay. Yep. You want to be very careful? I am. What was that? Did you hear that? It went I, I heard it. I'm pretty sure I caught it on the boom mic. Please do not shut the gate on us, okay? We don't mean any harm. We're just coming home and seeing if we can talk to y'all for a minute. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Please, let me take your pictures. While you're doing that, I'm going to stop for a second. Can't do something. Well, if it'll stop. Okay, we're back. There's no reason for that. We can all see that. There's no reason for that. I can't see. Oh, this is aggravating me to no end. It is just black. It doesn't want to be seen. And there's no floors. There's no floors. No. no floor. But we just caught something up there on it's that second. Hollow. Burnt out. Was that the lady in white, maybe? Could have been. Mm -hmm. It is completely hollow. <clears throat> That's just me finagling. Helps a little bit, but not a whole lot. Nope. Completely. Yeah. That was oh, my mic I'm brushing sorry. up against. No, you're fine. That was my mic brushing up against the ivy. I was just noting that. No, you're fine. It's like it doesn't matter, and this usually lights up whatever I'm looking at. Oh no, it's playing hell with mine. I can't focus at all. This is unbelievable. Hey, welcome to. Here's the barrel shoot. 
but one time we could crawl in there and get in. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, oh, cave in. I've got to say, it looks like we had a cave in. Yeah, see. Of course, I can't see. Maybe Vanessa can get it with a picture with her camera. Wow. Used to be able to go in that way, but. Yeah, you could crawl around, but you can't uh -huh. anymore because it's completely. Yeah. yeah, I got it. This is the barrel. What they used to do is bring the barrels away, and it, it slants down and it curves. Oh. So you roll them down that way. Oh. So there's actually a level under this level. Holy yeah. crow. Right. Unfortunately, you can't get to them. Yeah. Yeah. Something's pulling on my book bag. Uh -huh. Really? Got <laughs> and the rest of the moors are here. Oh. Okay. Got a torch left. Moore of Moore Hall, born 1770, died 1840. His wife Louise of she was Brown, died 1861, and their sons John B, 1812 to 1829, Augustus B, 1817 to died 1822, March 8, 1945. Sorry. George Henry Moore, MPOL, born 1810, uh, died 1870. His wife, Mary of McGuire Blake of Fad, born 1832, died 1895. Their sons, Senator uh, Colonel Maurice. George Moore, born 1854, died September 1939, late of the 1st Battalion of the Connacht Rangers. Okay. Wow. So they were Connacht Rangers. Okay, Van. Uh -huh. Watch your step. Yeah. You ready for the next part? Yes. No. Yeah. All right, this one. Still that one from you. Yeah, now this one, I'm afraid, isn't. No, it's just. Yeah. All right, 
Battery just died. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off. And odds are as soon as we get back to the car, it'll be a full battery again. So we're pulling out the cell phone. Okay. Okay, let's go. Alright, you go ahead and get in front of me. Okay. question about see where the moors are buried. Yeah. And yet have a look. It goes all the way round. Wow. Well. The far side of that and the front of that. So they're actually buried. The moors are buried on the mat while sitting on top of the last Wow. Which means it could probably never be fully examined to see how many how many are actually here. No. No idea in the number. <sighs> this battery's almost zapped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was me. No light pointed anywhere. What? Yeah. No light pointed anywhere. The next several photos were taken in sequence. This one had a strange light in it. We couldn't explain any of this. There was a thick, fog, mist-like something that was encasing us. Vanessa was feeling very uncomfortable and wanted to leave which is unusual, because I'm the one that usually has to tell her it's time to go. Yeah. I had my light pointing down this way. You were the other direction. Yeah. No light pointed anywhere. I did use a flash, but that still doesn't make sense, because I kind of have to use a flash. And suddenly I've got pictures again. They're amazing. Jeez. Wow. When I was up in the house, it told me my SIM cards was full. Ah. <laughs> now all of a sudden it's... Yeah, that's what it said on the um, GoPro camera. Yes. It's a 32 micro in there. You can't tell me that got filled the time that we were out there. I got a 156. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? We weren't Guys, not look long at that. enough. <sighs> this is a sad place. It is. Sad place. Saddest thing I've ever seen. Like. Mm. So they really have no idea how many. Yeah, look at that. Anyone coming up behind us? Mm -hmm. There is a groundskeeper, so. 
Oh, that's he's right. He's okay. Yeah, he's, okay. He's, he's, uh, he's okay. Okay. Just curious as to what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's, and we don't mean any harm. Or disrespect. I mean, I'd point your camera over there. You see the poles? White poles mark the estimate uh -huh. of this. It's pitch black. Yeah. All I can Man, see is this tree in front of me. What is this? I'm going to. Yeah. This is, this is what did mark these. Mm hmm. I did get the post while we were coming in. Yeah, so this is, as you can see, this is marking. There used to be a small church over there, but for whatever reason, it would be gone now. Hmm. Bye. Well. What was that? Yeah, I'm going to make sure. Gwen, turn your light away for me. Okay. It wasn't my light because nope. I turned it away. Wow. Well, what's left of my light? <laughs> and, and mine was pointing the complete opposite I can direction. see my light. <laughs> yeah, right. See my light draining. in the whole woods. The whole woods are just covered. There's no mist in the air. Mm-mm. Because I should have picked it up. Yeah. And I have not picked up any mist that I'm aware of. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounds like somebody like when someone would like paddle, you know? Yeah. Jesus, y'all. Seriously. It's getting closer to us. Yeah. Okay, you know what? We, I apologize, but we're going to go ahead and go through, okay? Please don't. I heard you, and I'm sorry, okay? But we've got to get going. I'm going to turn off my camera now, okay? We mean no disrespect, but I can't have you that close to me, okay? Whoa, bats are going crazy. I just heard something moving too. Didn't you hear the bat? He was just going nuts and then I heard something darting. Here you can hear the footsteps. It's just so unbelievably clear. Not, not. 
by us. Yeah, I would highly recommend you not doing that. Yeah, something that has uh, broken the feed is what I keep hearing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. There's lots of forms and you have no idea what you think. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, Vanessa, I've got to bring you back to you. And I'm red. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to let it run until whenever. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm not surprised. That one didn't last nowhere near as long as the other battery. No. But it might come back up because he wasn't moving. No. Yeah, you're blurry again. Yeah. Natural colors like the brown with a little bit of green and the red. It wasn't Scottish. It was Irish. Oh. Okay. Scots wear the top. Irish wear solid colors, brown, green. Okay. So it's a solid color. It's Irish. Well, no, it was a, it was a, it was a weave. It was, it was like a plaid, but it was brown, green, the primary brown, and then it had green and red. And what looked to be just a touch of gold or cream color through it, like a natural color. You can get a name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a solid color, complete solid color. Mm -hmm. It's Irish. Okay. Irish war kilts, but uh -huh. we wore, we wear solid. Okay. You know, like browns. Uh huh. But it's not flat. Scots wear the the pants each have a different flat. Brown. No explanation to have a wall like that around the garden. No. Especially that size. I mean, no. that, 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 that's a, that was a big-ass garden. Yeah. Um, and I'm from Virginia, so I know what a big-ass garden looks like. True story. <laughs> so, but with that said, while we were standing there and I was filming Vanessa and I was trying to, you know, get her what, what she was getting and everything, and Mick was telling us, you know, about it and everything, and... All of a sudden, I just started coughing. Mm -hmm. I, out of nowhere, just, but as soon as we walked away from that wall, I was fine. Mm -hmm. Throat chakra. Oh, yeah, yeah. My throat is still a little sore, but yeah. I'm okay. Right. So yep. that did come to pass then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the meaning of it was behind it, but... Uh, that's the only thing I can put together. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, as soon as we got away from the, the opening in the walls and started back on the footpath there, it stopped. Right. Yeah, I'm 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 never I'm never putting that oil on again. I can't live like that. Yeah, ask Thanks, Mick, Susie. Yeah. <laughs> ask Mick how ridiculous it was. Did it stop? No. No, you of course you got it. I'm usually the one that helps Vanessa pull out of 
attachments and stuff like that. I felt so exhausted and so nauseated by the time we got out of there that I, I just, I, I could barely hold my head up. And I just, I haven't had an experience like that in a very long time. And I think that's what's probably concerning me is the last time I felt like that was at the investigation in Virginia that we called the incident. With its history, as well as strange captures, Moore Hall did not disappoint. Built in the 1700s, it was home to George Henry Moore and his family. It was burned in 1923 during the Irish Civil War. George Moore was warned that the land was unlucky due to a legend about the Druid who was killed near there in 400 AD. He should have heeded.